This little video is about photosynthesis. This large oval represents the cellular organelle called the chloroplast. And we are going to divide this model into two parts separated by this black line. On this side we will have the light reactions. While on this side we'll have the Calvin cycle. When I was a biology student way back then they called it the dark reactions. But now we know they don't really only happen in the dark. They can happen in the day or the night. The thylakoid membranes um, exist inside the chloroplast. And these are thin lipid membrane sacs where the chemical reactions of the light reaction take place. The reason they're so thin is to increase the surface area to volume ratio for chemical reactions to happen. So these are called the thylakoid. We'll get back to the thylakoids in just a minute. On this side, we're going to have a model for the Calvin cycle, which I'll represent with this blue circle. This is the part of photosynthesis that makes the simple plant sugars known as pigal. One of the main inputs to get this ball rolling is sunlight, of course, which strikes the thylakoid. This is what makes plants so unique. They can capture energy from the sun. Along with water as a second input, we'll symbolize that like this. Plants produce oxygen gas as an output. Fortunately for us animals on the planet, we have plants. On the other side of our model, we have carbon dioxide gas, which enters into the Calvin cycle, yeah. producing a simple plant sugar mm -hmm. known as oh. pea gal. <laughs> if it wasn't for the ability to produce pea gal, animals never would have evolved on Earth. These two models are tied together by the production of ATP in the light reaction. The ATP is what enables the Calvin cycle to perform its function. There is a second energy carrying molecule produced in the light reaction called NADPH. It also enables the Calvin cycle yeah. to get its work done. Yeah. After ATP yeah. drops off its energy in its third phosphate group, really just like basic it turns into ADP, adenosine diphosphate, really and it has to be recycled back into the light reactions to be re-energized. And the same basic idea holds true for the other energy carrier, NADPH. It drops off its energy and it becomes NADP+. It too gets recycled and recharged in the light reactions. So let's summarize the main goal from the plant's point of view is to make simple plant sugar. Mm -hmm. This uses energy from the sun mm -hmm. and water uh -huh. and carbon dioxide. Yeah. 
notice that oxygen is considered a waste product but fortunately for us animals it's being made.